in the city life, it's about you. But with conservation, it's about the bigger picture, about everybody. It's taking care of a lot of things, even if it's something small. I want to give my love, give my caring, and do something positive instead of just being by myself and just thinking about myself. So the Angeles National Forest is 700,000 acres in Southern California. It's the only backyard for up to 17 million Angelinos. And we actually produce up to a third of the water that Angelinos drink. The Angeles National Forest is a very fire-prone forest. In the last 20 years, we've had very significant fires that have scarred the forest. The Copper, Ranch, and Sarah fires are three fires that happened in the early 2000s. Um, and as a result of that, we got a pretty significant amount of money to be able to restore some of the damage that was caused by those fires. And we've been working with the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation, or NIFWF, to identify amazing partners across Southern California and really across the nation who want to help us restore the Angeles National Forest. So our work with the ACE Collaborative and all of the SCCs uh, is a really critical effort on that point. The Southern California Conservation Corps Collaborative combines the resources, skills, strengths, and ambitions of three separate conservation corps working together side by side. The American Conservation Experience, the Los Angeles Conservation Corps, and the Urban Corps of Long Beach. All of this work is being funded by the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation Restoration Grant. Together, all of these individual organizations and agencies are making meaningful and measurable impact. The Core Collaborative is responding to these wildfire events that have made significant impacts on the landscapes, watersheds, and ecosystems, and we plan to continue to respond to these urgent calls to action over the next several years, which includes invasive treatments, controlling and eradicating invasive plants, seed collection, propagation, micro-trash removal, trail system improvements, and restoration of riparian corridors. It's also a really good effort in order to get more core members the experience working with other diverse personnel. So not only are they working with government entities, they're also working with you know, other core groups and they're learning to apply the skills that they learn not only in their core, but also, you know, through LA, their high school, they're working on their GED. So being able to work professionally and apply those skills that they learn in school to the working environment. Where I'm from is kind of, kind of a rough area, you know, so just having people, you know, with who are just really friendly and open arms, like it's new, it's new and it's cool, I like the vibe. It's been really interesting getting to know a lot of other people from around and how different conservation corps run and just meeting all kinds of different people. It's really cool. Definitely great when we get to work alongside each other because it's crazy how much work gets done. Everybody gets a chance to meet new people, you know, more or less. You know, they might have had a chance to talk to them once, but it's even greater when you get to, like, get to know people from different backgrounds. Core members from Conservation Corps Long Beach who are just getting a taste of working out there on the Angeles National Forest doing some fire restoration work. And if they like it, the next step for them, go join ACE. Be a Miracle member with ACE. You can do another term of AmeriCorps or whatever with ACE. And then you can go work at, you know, Pinnacles National Park or, you know, the, you know, the, you know Coconino National Forest or wherever. You get a better idea. You get to meet a whole, you know, spectrum of other people. You get a, a you know, a real taste for what it is. You know, you have jobs that you go, it's the same thing every day, it's the same thing every day. Actually here, you get to do something and finish a project in a day. Part of my big turnaround, this will be part of it because if I wasn't here, I'd probably be incarcerated, honestly. Honestly. It was a real big point in my life last year. I had to kind of get my bearings together, put on my big boy pants, and conservation course was a big part of that. It really kind of saved my life. It really kind of saved my life. So when this opportunity came up to partner with ACE on the Andrews National Forest, you know, we jumped at it. We thought it was a great idea to, you know, both engage our young folks that most of them have never been on the forest, even though it's an hour drive at that from here. Having our folks um, work with the ACE Corps members and ACE staff, as well as with the Forest Service, 
it just it means a lot to us and it, it, I think it'll um, spark a, an interest and an engagement that most of our folks never even knew they had or even knew there was an opportunity to do that. Well, a lot of kids where I come from don't get a chance to really get out here and experience things like this. So for a city boy like me, I, I really appreciate it. It gives you a chance to get out, build relationships, and really get to learn something that you really get a chance to learn in the regular city.